Hi, this is Brian with Prater Industries and today we're going to go over removing the Omega coupling and making sure that our, cu our couplings below are properly aligned if we had to do a bearing housing change or a bearing housing swap. So to remove these, we have these bolts holding on the Omega coupling. Simply going to just go around and remove them. Now, when we're building these machines at Prater for the first time, everything gets aligned. We use laser alignment tools so that we could get the proper alignment because with these Omega couplings, you're allowed, you're allowed, I believe, up to one eighth of an inch of difference, but we don't want to get to that point. We want to make sure that everything's fully and properly aligned because if we don't have things aligned properly, then we can end up having issues either with vibration or bearings or motors failing you know prematurely because of uh, not having the proper alignment also too over the time of running these machines it's a good PM to uh, periodically take off the cover so that we can uh, visually see this Omega coupling to make sure that there is no cracks or damages to it over the years of uh, going through operation So now that we got the one removed, you can see that we have two more metal couplings that are essentially, there's a keyway here and a keyway on here, and that those metal ones will lock down onto that key. Now the important factor, like I said, is on when we build them, there's shims on the motors that we have to put on so that we can get the proper alignment before we go ahead and even put the laser aligners on. So you're gonna get a general idea of where these things lined up and make sure that you're eliminating any soft foot that you might see in the motors. Once you get past where there's no soft foot in the motors, you have the proper, uh, proper uh, shims underneath the feet, then we can go ahead and set up our alignment tool on this shaft and this shaft to make sure that we're getting this within the standard that Prater sends these out from. Don't just assume that you can go ahead and use a straight edge. It, it can get you in, in, into the general vicinity of where you need to be, but Prater uses the standards of using laser alignment tools because that's the best way that you're gonna get these properly lined up. And getting these properly lined up is just gonna help the life of your bearings, your motor, and in getting proper uh, balancing to get that vibration down as low as possibly can.